Let me ask you this. When you were an intern, yeah. and you, I know that you were very young when you interned for us. You were like yeah. 19 years old, I think. I was, right? I was 19, I was, yeah. Um, you, at the time, must have been interested in comedy. Sometimes, you know, it's hard for interns because they're, they're told you got to be professional, you can't approach That's right. famous people. Were you given that whole spiel? They gave me the whole speech at the beginning. Don't talk to famous people, don't talk to the guests. But then uh, Jonathan Katz came on the show one time and he was from, uh, from Dr. Katz, professional therapist. Hilarious, of, <clears throat> hilarious comedian. One of, the, one of the great TV series of, of uh, comedy nerds like me. And he lived and worked in Boston. And my brother Joe, who had interned on your show as well, was living in Boston, was an aspiring comedy writer. And so I was, and so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna introduce John Katz to my brother Joe. So I, I completely cross a line and I just follow, I get out of the control room, I spot him after he walks off stage and I follow Jonathan Katz. And I'm like, I'm gonna talk to Jonathan Katz. He, he makes a right turn into the bathroom and I have that fork in the road moment where you go, should I follow a celebrity comedian into a public restroom? And the answer, Conan, is yes. <laughs> I went into the bathroom, went in the bathroom I waited until he was washing his hands, and then I said, Jonathan, I'm Mike Birbiglia. I work on the show. I didn't say I was an intern, but I was wearing a nice shirt, and I, and I looked 50 when I was 20, so I had a high, <laughs> high hairline. You know, my hairline was this since I was 13, basically. And, so and you, I could, so you could have been a producer, for all he knew. I could have been a producer, right. I go, my brother Joe is an aspiring comedy writer in Boston. Can I put him in touch with you? He goes, oh, yeah. He's a soft-spoken guy. He goes, oh, yeah, absolutely. He goes, um, let me just write my number down. Do you have anything that I could, you know, write it in? And I was just like, oh, well, these paper towels, I think, could uh, we could write it on. And so then I... Uh, you know, we I took out a paper towel. He wrote down his number, put him in touch with Joe, and Joe worked for him for several days. Oh. And uh, yeah, so I I overstepped, and uh, and actually, if I I don't know if this is inappropriate. I know this is your talk show. Uh, I don't know if this is the time or the place, but I was uh, my brother Joe is uh, trying to figure out his life right now. He was an intern for you 20 years ago, and I was wondering if you would take a meeting with him if I could give him your number? Uh, well, it's, it's on the line to ask me on the air. It's, it's, uh, wait, <laughs> no, wait, Joe's here now? No, that's this, my brother, that's my brother Joe. This is inappropriate. It's one thing for you and I to talk off the air and for me to give you my number, to have Joe appear on the show is way over the line. Joe, it's over the line. This is wrong. <laughs> I'll show myself out. No, no, no. Joe, please stay. How are you, Joe? Where are you? I'm well. I'm in Rhode Island also, my home. You both are in Rhode Island? Yes. Okay. Uh, where? And this is near Providence? Yes, right outside of Providence. Okay. Big snowstorm coming down, huh? It's coming down right now. Okay. All right, let me tell you my Rhode Island story, okay, now that you're here. And yes, I'll do anything I can for you. Oh. But look at... <laughs> But all I'll say to you is this, though, Joe. I will help you in any way I can. Your brother has four cameras. I have one. I think, <laughs> I think you're talking to the wrong guy. You ready for my Rhode Island story? Please. My, my grandfather uh, had a, a little cottage down in Rhode Island. We didn't have a summer place when I was growing up, so we would go and we would visit my grandfather. In the town, uh, there's a fancy town nearby called Watch Hill. There was this big mansion yeah. on a hill so many, many years later, I'm walking through that town and I buy, there's a nice painting of that mansion uh, on a hill that looks out at the sea in Rhode Island. I buy it and I'm like, this is cool. This reminds me of my youth, my grandfather, hanging out with my brothers and sisters, going to the state beach. This is really cool and I put it up on my wall. Lo and behold, about five years after I do that, Taylor Swift buys that mansion, completely <laughs> redoes it, and it becomes Taylor Swift's like Graceland. Literally, there's like musical notes on the gate. Um, you know, it's this big thing. People yeah. hang around out front to try and see Taylor Swift. Yeah. I have that painting, and I put it in our guest room here in my house in Los Angeles. So these people come to stay with me, and I'm showing them the guest room, and they say, what's that a painting of? And I went, that's my painting of Taylor Swift's house. <laughs> And everyone's like, you're a fucking freak. Problematic. You're, you're a creep. You're a creep. And I'm, I didn't explain that I had it long. It's like a, <laughs> I had a painting made of her home. 
And I'm going to marry her someday because I love Taylor Swift and I'll be Mr. Swift. <laughs> That's my story. I just wanted you to appreciate my Rhode Island roots. Joe had one story that I thought was really funny about being an intern. I go, do you have a memory of being an yeah, intern on the Joe, show? Yeah, Joe, you were an intern for us. What do you remember? I, I, I was. And one of the, the honors of being the intern was that you would once a week, it would be your job to order in dinner for Conan, Andy Richter, and the writers, and mm-hmm. throw their, you know, write their initials on Joe, the you, hand, Joe, right? you know this is Conan, right? I know that, I know. <laughs> it's been a long time since Joe, A, worked for me, or B, watched the show. So what? he right now, think, he thinks he's talking to a very pleasant middle-aged Irish woman. So, 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 the question was when I was ordering the dinner because I'm you know I'm 20 years old at the time and you're it's stressful working television for the first time like that, and it's the question was can I put Conan's CO initials on his dinner or would, is someone trying to kill him perhaps is that dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I love that. <laughs> Guess what? There were people out to kill me then, <laughs> and actually. They worked on the same network as me, so yeah. you, one of them, one of them, one of them was Jay Leno. I know. It's good. <laughs> yeah, what's one of his? What's uh, what's one of Conan eating? Wait, can I just borrow it for a second? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll take care of that little right now.